back. I really hope that as I'm recording this, there is no crazy glare. The sun is kind of going down, so I apologize if there is. So yes, I am back. I am back to film a video with a new palette that I'm so absolutely madly in love with and I just can't get over how amazing it is. And that is the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. Can we just have like a moment with the beauty like of this packaging? It's like very Miami, Hawaiian, tropical. I love it. Anyways, this is the new ad addition to the Vice collection from Urban Decay. This is the third edition from the Urban Decay collection. Um, and I'm so madly in love with it. I completely skipped out on the first Vice palette because it just it wasn't my colors I knew I wasn't gonna use it I was smart about it and did not purchase it I did buy the Vice 2 palette and I, I regret that purchase because I've only used that palette maybe like three times I'm more so used it for the mirror than for the actual eyeshadows themselves but recently my mirror broke so I had to depot it and that palette went bye bye but I have all my shadows in a Z palette and this I was actually going to skip on because I realized the other two didn't work for me or I didn't like the colors but this is just it was made for me it might as well have my name on the packaging because I have not put this down for the past like week and a half that I have owned it if you look at the shadows and even like the mirror itself it's very dirty it's been dug into I've used basically every shadow that's in here I absolutely love it because these are shadows that, that go well with my skin tone they're very warm even the greens and blue don't have too much of a cool effect to them so they work perfectly for me I have like I said I've used every single shadow in this so far and it's just it's so worth it it's $60 which is about a dollar more than it was last year but it's, I mean, it's completely worth it. You're, you're getting 20 shadows for $60, so you're paying 3 bucks for an eyeshadow and packaging. I mean, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Um, I absolutely love this. Um, I was going to do an in-depth review on my blog about this. But I accidentally deleted all the photographs I took of it before I started using it. So, sorry. Um... I would do a review, but I don't think you guys want to see photographs of this. Like, there's one where, like, my nail, like, accidentally dug in, and this palette is just completely destroyed at this point. So there is absolutely no reason for me to go and take pictures of it. If you guys want a video review, I can definitely do one of those. But I feel like I've said everything that I need to say in this video, or at least in the introduction. I did this look today, which is very fall inspired, like fall leaves inspired with dark reds and yellow. And um, I actually show you three different options for the lip, a nude, a very, very dark, dark vampy color, and then this color. That's my absolute favorite. And um, I give you options as to um, what kind of lip color you can match up with this. Um, I also did lashes for once. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling so we can go ahead and get started with the video. Bye. Alright, so just to go ahead and get started, we're going to be using our 5-in-1 Bare Minerals BB Cream Shadow. Um, I don't know the shade of this one because I got it at Sephora as one of like my point perk thingies. And um... I looked all over the packaging for the actual name and it was like nowhere to be found so just gonna blend this out all the way up to the eyebrow so now instead of just going straight into the um, shadows I'm gonna go in and tight line with the Too Faced there's a little hair the Too Faced perfect uh, black eyeliner and I usually just grab and look away. So now we're going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. And we're going to go in with the new Vice 3 palette. I have been absolutely loving this. I've been using it so much since I got it. And I just, I cannot get over it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this shade, and this is the shade Truth. It is just a, um, like a pinky based neutral color. And I'm going to go in with my, um, Sugar Pill Large Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyes to set the primer and into my brow bone to set, um, the concealer that I use to cover up my eyebrow. So 
So just to kind of warm up the crease, I'm going to go in with these two shadows right here. And this is Undone and Downfall. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease using this fluffy brush that's kind of a dupe for the MAC 217. And this is just going to help transition the other colors. Although the shape that we're doing with the eyeshadows doesn't necessarily require this. I like doing this anyways, just so there's a little bit more depth since I have a little bit of a hooded eye going on. And just to make sure there's no harsh lines, I'm going to go in with Truth and the large shadow brush again. Just up the top. So I'm going to go in with this super small, like almost bullet uh, brush, but it's a little bit fluffier. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of Alien, which is like this nice little pinky color. I'm going to pick up a small amount. Make sure you tap off these shadows because they can be very fallout happy. And I'm just going to go into the inner corner. And just stop it right before you hit like the center of the eye. And then the outer corner. And again, stopping before you reach the center of the lid. And then just make sure to blend that into the actual crease, into that warm crease color. Alright, so now to make things a little bit more fun, I'm going to destroy everything that's on here I'm gonna go in with Sonic which is this beautiful cranberry red in just the same bullet brush putting it in the center and the outer corner making sure to not completely cover that pink we put down so again I'm just gonna go in with that fluffy brush we put in the crease and just blend that out and this is around the time where you can actually start connecting it into the crease and I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more of that sonic into the outer corners and blending it out all over again All right, now you're going to go in with Alchemy and just do the same thing all over again. And just blunt it. So now I'm just going to go in with uh, Bondage, just, just a darker red, and put that Bondage into my inner corner and outer corner. And just blend it all out. I am gonna go in with Lucky, this awesome gold color in the center of the eye. And just press it on. Alright. Now, before we finish up the eyes, I'm going to go in with that same truth, which is that nude color that we set everything with, and I'm just going to pop that into the crease and blend that stuff out with a clean blending brush. Alright, now, for the bottom of the eyes, I'm just going to take Alchemy and just pop it down here to about there and then just to make sure you can actually blend that out a little bit better go into a little bit of alien and sonic and just kind of layer that on top of it just to make sure it looks fine and then to blend that out go in with a fluffy brush but instead of going in with a um like a shadow from here. I'm gonna go in with the powder that I used to set my face with and that is my Too Faced Invisible Powder and mine's like broken and well loved. So I'm just gonna go with a little bit of that. And I love doing this because it actually helps 
make blending my bottom shadows a lot easier. And for a pop of inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with this shade over here called Last Sin. On the same brush that I used to pop the um, gold into the center of the eyes. So next, I'm just going to go in with eyeliner. All I'm going to do is do a very, very thin line of liner on my upper lid that way the lashes have something to stick to um you can definitely go into like a full wing of liner a full nothing of liner but usually when i put on lashes i like to have a little bit of black for it to sit on just so the glue doesn't look as obvious on my eyes and i'm going to be using my um physician's formula two in one lash booster liner thing I'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes and apply a little mascara um, I'm going to be using my covergirl clump curl shirt this has been my absolute favorite and I absolutely love it but today I'm gonna be using a very, very thin coat because I'm actually gonna be doing lashes so you don't want too much you just want to make sure that your lashes have like a nice coat to them so they blend well into the falsies. And make sure to give your bottom lashes a decent coat. So lastly, I'm going to go in with my lashes. And I'm going to go in with House of Lashes and Pixie Luxe. And the, my favorite lash glue ever. This is the House of Lashes lash glue. I am going to do this off camera just because I suck at doing this while I'm getting being filmed. So um, I will be right back and I will have these babies on. Alright, now those are the eyes done with lashes and everything. Alright, now last thing we have to do is the lips. Um, the lips are all up to you. I'm going to show you three different options to do with this lip. Um, first option is going to be a nude and I'm first I'm going to go in with Burr. Beer lip liner from MAC and this will be like your more almost like Kylie Jenner look so this on itself is amazing I love this color this has been my go to nude for like the past couple of days since I first got this and I absolutely love it and just to add a little bit more depth you can go in with a nude i'm going in with mocha from mac and now if you really want to make this like that kylie jenner look go in with a little bit of a light concealer light foundation and just tap it into the center and voila Then you have option number two, which is to go for a dark, dark lip. And for that, I'm going to go in with a Night Moth Lip Pencil and Homegirl from MAC. Oh, from Kat Von D, sorry. And now I'm for the lipstick. And that is your second option with a super dark vampy lip. I absolutely love vampy lips for the fall. So this is definitely something you're going to be seeing me in for the next couple of months. So, yeah. Alright, and finally, you can go in with a plummy, like, I don't know. It's like an in-between color. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just a nice color on your lips. So I'm going to go in with one of the new Luster Mattes from Sephora in the shade Deep Plum Luster. I've been absolutely loving this shade because it's just a nice something on your lips. It's not too bright. It's a nice little berry color. And that is it that is your third and final option this is probably the look that I'm going to be sticking with just because I absolutely love 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 this shade so excuse this glare the Sun is going down so there's not much I can do about it that is it for the finished look I hope you guys liked this look I hope you guys liked the three options of lips 
If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments down below. And until next time, you guys have a happy and healthy day, and I will see you in my next video.